So in this video, I want to look at an example of how we do subtraction with decimals. So this works in very much the same way if you're confident with addition with decimals and with subtraction with integers, it's really putting those two ideas together. So 36.4, and we need to make sure that 8.27 goes below and that the decimal points line up. So 8.27. And any gaps, fill them in with zeros. OK? So we have 0 take away 7. Can't do that. So we have to borrow 1 from the 4. So it becomes 3. And the 0 becomes 10. 10 take away 7 becomes 3. 3 take away 2 is 1. Bring the decimal point down. 6 take away 8. I can't do that. So I'm going to need to borrow 1 from the 3. And now I have 16. 16 take away 8 is 8, and then 2 take away 0 is 2. And so we get 28.13, and we'll see some more examples of this in the next video.